This video features adult pellet guns intended to be used by people over 18 years of age. All air guns in this video are unmodified and any assembly or disassembly is done for the purposes of maintenance or repair in strict accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. The pellet guns in this video run entirely off compressed air. They use no propellant such as gunpowder and must not be confused with any form of tactical firearm. All air gun shooting in this video is done on my own private shooting range in a clear and open area as not to endanger bystanders or the property of others. My targets are paper and steel. Always follow shooting safety, know your target and what's behind it, and be courteous of animals and others. Today you're going to learn how to operate and tune the M3 in under 5 minutes. First thing you have to remember, never fire the M3 when it's below the regulator pressure. Number 2, the M3 must be uncocked when turning the power adjuster wheels or really adjusting the M3 in any way. Always make sure the M3 is uncocked. Number three, never adjust the regulator above 170 bar. Okay, there's five points of adjustment on the M3. The valve adjuster, which is the front knob. The first regulator adjustment, which is inside where the bottle screws on. Then you have the second regulator adjustment, which is located way inside the trigger guard. Then you have the macro power adjuster, which is the hammer power wheel. And that's located on the back. And then you have the micro power adjustment, which is the fine-tuned barrel roller. So the first regulator is going to come from the factory at 150. Nailed it. But we're going to show you how to adjust that. It recommends that you leave that where it was. Your second regulator is what you would adjust for different calibers. And then within your caliber, this is a 22 caliber, so I would just use my macro power adjustment and my fine-tuning micro power adjustment to tune in for different pellets. So the only one you have to remember to do with no air in the M3 is the first regulator and that's pretty easy because you have to take your bottle off to adjust it. Just make sure you pull your trigger, get all the air out of your gun before you adjust your first regulator. Also never turn your first regulator more than a quarter turn. It's very important. Just do tiny adjustments. So let's say you bought a used FX Impact M3 like I did and you want to get it back to the factory tune, that's super easy. In addition, if your friend has a, let's say the 25.39 grain pellet, he got his M3 just perfected to shoot those pellets perfectly. Or let's say the 15.89 grains. All he has to do is give you his numbers or his tune, and you just program those numbers into your M3, and now you're shooting them the exact same. So the factory tune on the M3 for 18.1 grain pellets looks like this. Regulator 1 is going to be 150 bar. Regulator 2, 70 bar. Your macro wheel is going to be at 16. Your fine tune, quick tune system is going to be at 2. And your valve adjustment is going to be at line 5.5. So in this video, we're going to adjust this M3 to those settings. There is one more thing that you should never do, and that is fire this M3 when it has no air in it with the exception of the one time you're going to pull the trigger after you first take the bottle off. Okay, you guys can see that my gauge right there is at 250. My front reg is at 110. So I need to get that regulator to 150. So all we got to do is unscrew the bottle. Anytime you're adjusting your M3, you do want to have your pressure at 200 bar or above. All right, so never fire your M3 when there's no air in it. That can void the warranty. So my front regulator adjustment is right inside there. So I'm going to confirm there's no air in that one. Go to the back here. Looks like I still got some air back there, so I will pull the trigger one time. All right, now it's going to slowly hiss the air out to zero right there. So I got that more or less at zero in the back. My front reg is at zero, and of course my tank pressure is at zero. I'm going to take a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, and it says in the manual to do this gently. All the adjustments on this M3 are going to be counterclockwise for up and clockwise for down. Now I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. All right, screw my bottle back on. All right, let me pull the trigger, see what happens here. All 
I almost nailed it. I'm going for 150. See how exact that is though? It goes back to the exact same spot every time. I did have to refill my air one time in between, but after a few tries, I managed to get this peg at exactly 150 bar. Nailed it. If you have the proper tool, which is called a ball end Allen key, you don't have to take your trigger guard on and off to adjust your rear regulator because these little teeny bolts can strip out. You can put a bolt that's a couple millimeters longer in and it will grab. That's what happened to me and I was just fine. This screw right there is actually a safety screw. And if that screw is not backed out, then your trigger won't fire. So my bolt's right in there. In order to get my Allen key in there, I just have to squeeze. Actually, there's only one side that'll work. There it is, and make sure I'm locked in there. Once again, make sure the M3 is not cocked. I would just turn that little screw counterclockwise to increase the pressure on my back dial right here, which is my rear regulator. Cock your M3. Pull your trigger, and you have to do it a couple times. So let's say that your reg was set at 100 right there. Pull the trigger a couple times, and it'll go bop, 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 and then it'll settle at one spot. So I already got mine right at 70. The manual says the second regulator should be set on 70 to 75 bar for 22 caliber. But you will notice the tune for the 25.39 grain requires that you set your rear regulator to 95 bar. Generally though, within the calibers, you're just going to be using your macro and micro adjustments to tune between different pellet weights. With your M3 pointing in a safe direction, you want to pull your trigger, make sure it's not cocked. And for the factory tune on the 18.1 grain, we want to put our macro wheel at 16. All right, 16, and then I want to be two on the barrel roller. Yeah, that's it right there. So right here is your valve adjuster. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four lines right there. Let's zoom in. You know, I'm just going to call that the fourth line because what we're going to do now, I'm going to hit this with a highlighter just so I can tell which one it is. There we go. So we're on line number four. Line number six is going to be one and a half turns out. Okay, so here we go. That's one turn. And then a half would be, I guess I would just turn this directly to the other side, so... So that right there is six lines, you guys. One and a half turns out from four. Now, for my 18.1 grain tune, I want to be 5.5 lines out. So according to my calculations, I need to go back about one third of a turn. And a little more. We're just going to call that 5.5. And that's it, you guys. Now you know how to tune and operate an M3. There's nothing mysterious or nothing you have to be intimidated by. If you want tunes for certain pellets, just jump right on Airgun Nation. Ask them, or you can even email FXUSA directly, and they'll answer your email in like one or two days. So, great service by those guys. I can't say enough good things about the M3, you guys, so I'm just going to cut it off here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate FX. They're going to help me out with some videos in the near future here. So, thanks to FX. I'm going to have a lot of really cool M3 videos for you guys. Now, when you enter a factory tune, that's actually a starting point. And that's going to get you most of the way there to the ultimate accuracy. There will be a link at the end of this video for my next video, which is the FX M3 .2 caliber sniper full review. And that's going to show you how to take it from the factory tune velocity and which of these are five adjustment knobs you're going to want to turn to shave that last few FPS off your pellet and get this M3 just totally dialed in. So definitely you want to catch that video, it picks up right where this one leaves off. And then here's the official group for 71 yards away, FX Impact M3, tuned to perfection, 18.1 grain FX pellets.